David Thompson, New Hampshire settler. David Thompson, 1593-1628, was the first non-native settler of New Hampshire and the namesake of Thompson Island in Boston Harbor. He may have been a descendant of Sir Thomas Stewart, Master of Mar. Early Life and Ancestry David Thompson was born in Corstorphine, a village in the Kingdom of Scotland. His father was the Reverend Richard Thompson C., 1564-1606, who had received an ecclesiastical appointment from James V.I. of Scotland, reigned 1567-1625. The identity of David's mother is unknown. His stepmother Richard Thompson's second wife was Agnes Foolies. Richard Thompson was a son of Bernard Thompson and Agnes Baltzert. His paternal grandparents were Alexander Thompson D. 1587 and Janet Gurley. His great-grandparents were Alexander Thompson C. 1460-1513 and Margaret Forrester. This Alexander died in combat during the Battle of Flodden 1513. Margaret was reportedly a great-granddaughter of John Forrester of Corstorphine, who had served as Lord High Chamberlain of Scotland. Alexander Thompson C. 1460-1513 was thought to be a son or grandson of Thomas Stuart, Master of Mar. The name Thompson is a Scottish patronymic surname and literally means son of Thomas. Thomas Stuart was a son of Alexander Stuart, Earl of Mar D. 1435, grandson to Alexander Stuart, Earl of Butchin, and great-grandson of Robert Roman II of Scotland and Elizabeth Muir. David Thompson is first mentioned in 1602, when he received a bursary to attend the University of Edinburgh and study philosophy. As a teenager, David Thompson traveled to the New England colonies as part of the Popham Colony in Maine in 1607. He returned to England and married Amias Cole, the daughter of a shipyard owner, and they had three children, Anne, Priscilla, and John, before Thompson returned to New England. In England, Thompson came to know Squanto before his return to Plymouth, Massachusetts, and Thompson sailed with Squanto to New England in 1619. Thompson helped rescue a stranded Native American boy on the Isle of Shoals during his 1619 trip, and the boy was given to Thompson as a servant by the local Sachem. Background of Founding the New Hampshire Colony The colony that became the state of New Hampshire was founded on the division in 1629 of a land grant given in 1622 by the Council for New England to Captain John Mason, former governor of Newfoundland, and Sir Ferdinando Gorges, who founded Maine. The colony was named New Hampshire by Mason after the English county of Hampshire, one of the first Saxon shires. John Mason sent David Thompson to set up the first settlement. David Thompson first settled at O'Dearns Point in Rye near Portsmouth with a group of fishermen from England in 1623, just three years after the pilgrims landed at Plymouth. The settlers built a fort, manor house, and other buildings, some for fish processing, on Flake Hill at the mouth of the Piscataqua River, naming the settlement Panaway Plantation. In 1623, the English explorer Christopher Levitt, an associate of Gorges and a member of the Council for New England, wrote of visiting Thompson at his Panaway Plantation. Early historians believed the first native born New Hampshireite. John Thompson, was born there, later he was found to have been baptized at St. Andrew's Parish in Plymouth, England, in 1619. Disappearance after moving to Boston. David Thompson had been sent by Mason, to be followed a few years later, by Edward and William Hilton. Thompson moved his family to an island in Boston Harbor today called Thompson Island in his honor in 1626, and he may have had a fur trading post on the island prior to moving there. The Thompsons became some of the first European settlers of Boston, Massachusetts. 
David Thompson disappeared in 1628 and was never heard from again. Some historians theorize he was the victim of foul play. Others suggest that he accidentally drowned in Boston Harbor. Thompson's widow, Amias 1596-1672, remarried to Samuel Maverick of Noddles Island. Thompson's son later successfully recovered ownership of the island from the town of Dorchester, before another party acquired it.